I'm joined live via Skype by Angolan political analyst Florindo Chivukute, the executive director of Friends of Angola NGO. Florindo, welcome to Africa 54. Florindo, I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. So let, okay. let's get to the, the election that took place on Wednesday with MPLA, the ruling party, uh, claiming victory. And uh, what is the official stand of the Angola's Electoral Commission? Uh, so, well, the Electoral Commission just announced the final results today, an hour ago. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's 5 p.m. Angolan time. Uh, when they announced it. So the, the final results weren't uh, too different from the ones they announced last week. Uh, in other words, so the uh, MPLA uh, won, supposedly won with 51% uh, uh, um, uh, percent, and then UNITA with 40 or 40, 42, if my memory says me well. Uh, but no, not, not too different, really, uh, from the, the results they announced last week. So indeed, uh, now it's official that MPLA has won this election. We know that uh, Adalbalto Costa Jr. had already said there were discrepancies in the tallying of this vote. Uh, do we know if he is going to petition the Supreme Court uh, to look into what exactly happened? Yes, so the short answer to your question, yes, he's going to petition. He also stated today on an interview he gave to CNN in Portugal that it will try to exhaust all the uh, national uh, venues uh, to uh, submit it, uh, not just to the, the Constitutional Court, but also to the National Electoral Commission. And then after that, it will also look at outside help to see if the international community uh, could uh, mediate this, uh, this issue. But also, he didn't leave out of the table uh, the possibility of uh, organizing a national rally to uh, to demand a, a free and fair elections, according to Peter's president. So far, how have Angolans reacted to this news? Uh, actually, you're breaking it right here on Africa 54 when we were preparing the news. We didn't have a word from uh, the Electoral Commission. So what's the reaction on the ground? Uh, well, <clears throat> it, it really depends who you ask. Uh, but if you ask, what I, I can tell for the majority of the youth, um, and, and folks that I'm looking, reading online on social media, uh, look into, I mean, I mean, people are fierce. Uh, people, um, a lot of folks are expressing their concern. They don't believe that those results express the people's will. Uh, they believe that there's an, uh, the Angolan government is trying to subvert the, uh, the, the people's um, uh, 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 will. And so, I mean, really, I mean, it's just not a good climate. We have also seen a huge um, police force at, um, throughout the city and the different provinces. Um, and as we speak, there are more than 30 youth uh, uh, activists are being uh, uh, in court right now. And, and so it's just not a good climate right now as, as we speak. And what impact, if any, did the arrival of the body of former longtime president Jose Eduardo dos Santos and his barrio Sunday have on this election? Well, I mean, not much, to be honest with you. Um, I, a lot of people believe that it wasn't a good time. It probably we shouldn't have wait until the elections uh, results were are finally declared and all the parties were probably happy or at least find a consensus in regard to the final result. Uh, but um, so there were one thing that struck a lot of Angolans as the Mr. Alberto Costa Jr. was walking uh, on the funeral, uh, people were chat chatting uh, how Alberto, even from people wearing um, MPLA t-shirts. Um, it, it's just, um, it, I, I think, um, I mean, it overall went well, people attended. But uh, some believe that probably wasn't a good time uh, to hold the funeral uh, because this is just a very hostile environment that we're living on because of disputed results in Angola. Florindo, thanks. Florindo Chibukute is an Angolan political analyst and executive director of Friends of Angola.